Yeah, you need someone fun. And then I also think with this sort of question, mm. probably shouldn't put this out. I'm like, if you die, would I eat you? What the hell? No, because you know if you're on a desert oh. island, you don't have any food. She would eat me one million percent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you'd need, you need to think about that, you know? You need to think about these things. Hey guys, welcome to That's The Tea. I'm Nicole Holiday, and today we are here with four debutantes on the show. This is really exciting. Did you just do a little dance? Yeah, might as well. Why not? <laughs> uh, we have two Arsenal legends, Viv Miedema and Lisa Evans. What is that? Questionable. <laughs> Back yourself. Yeah, give yourself some credit. Do you know what I mean? Uh, we have Pippa Monique from AFTV and Nancy Baker from She's A Baller. This is... um. A little bit Arsenal heavy, isn't it? Yeah, very Arsenal heavy. But do you know what? I'm so fine with that. Come on, Arsenal. <laughs> anyway. Just here at the neutral. <laughs> <laughs> Just put it out there. Um, right, let's start off with an FAWSL roundup. So Liverpool and Birmingham was postponed. Liverpool again. Again. Tottenham and Bristol City also postponed. Got it. Yeah. Uh, but Brighton won, Everton nil. Chelsea eight, West Ham nil. Damn. Yeah. I know. Um, Reading won, Man United won, Man City 2, Arsenal 1. Sorry. I'm sorry, Boom. we had to stop with that. I know. Bit annoying, obviously, not the result that you guys wanted. How was everyone after the game? A bit flat. We were obviously disappointed, but I mean, we know there's still a lot of games in it to be yeah. won and lost. So, I mean, yeah. We've obviously got still Champions League, FA Cup, and it's not that the league's over. So, and we've obviously got a final to look forward to, so. Of course, and it's so tight at the top of the league. Do you feel like, does it feel like from your point of view that it's been even more competitive this season? Yeah, definitely, I think. I think last year what we've done really well is actually to win every single game outside the top three. And this year you can see that, I mean, Chelsea are flying right now, 8-0 oh, in the so weekend, good. obviously, but um, I think they've got a quality team. They showed that against us. And I think even if we look at the Chelsea game, I came off the pitch and I was like, we just got bombed today. Like they'd done really well, but we played Man City in the weekend, and I actually came off, and I was like, we should have won here. Like mm. we had the quality to actually beat that team, and we didn't, which then is obviously quite frustrating. Do you back yourselves to win the title? I think so. I mean, we did at the start of the season. It's obviously going to be difficult yeah. now. We know that um, it's out of our hands. And like they've said, I think Chelsea are the team to beat. They're absolutely flying right now. It's not all doom and gloom because you did beat Man City earlier in the week at the Conti Cup. Through to the final! Woo! -hoo! Woo! Yes! Viv! <laughs> We're excited about it! <laughs> are you just trying to play it cool? She's trying to play it cool. She's right, right. <laughs> Are you excited though? You must be feeling really positive about that, no? I mean, yeah, obviously, like, I think we are a club that need to play finals, so it's not, yeah, obviously you're excited to go and play a final somewhere, but, um, yeah, I just hope we can win it. That's how easy it we've is, and then well I'll be happy. Well in the past, like, we've been in a lot of Conti Cup finals. Mm. Mm. One fan, though, that I think is safe to say will probably be there is <laughs> Arsenal legend, the infamous Maria. Yeah. Oh, oh I does. know! <laughs> no, she's amazing. She's so sweet. She, oh, and the thing that went viral with her in her and little camera. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I really hope she got some quality pictures. Oh, you yeah, should have asked her. I know, but I'm like, like, how good... She must have good. some amazing pictures, by the way. Yeah. 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 Oh God, Just throughout the whole years, right? Like, a, yeah. imagine if she had, like, a big wall of collectors. Yeah. Right? Maybe she does. Oh, my God, that would be on really does. I yeah. wonder what her house is like. Maria, if you've got them, bring it back. <laughs> send us a picture, <laughs> send it. <laughs> we should do an episode round Yeah, get her. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can we come to your house? She'll love that. <laughs> do you guys, because we caught up with her at Chelsea, at the Chelsea game, do you guys like see her a lot? Can you hear her? Because she's we hear her. Yeah. <laughs> she's the first person I hear at the stadium and the last when we go. But home. you hear her hear in the men's stadium time. as well. Yeah. Yeah. Like we're on the other end, but you still hear her singing. Like it's amazing. She's oh always God. there. You can always see her. Like she travels home and yeah. away as well. Sometimes she obviously bumps into her at city. She was like Pippa. Oh. <laughs> Every little camera. <laughs> Right, we have some um, little questions from Twitter. Thank you for sending them in, guys. Georgie Luttrell says, what was the biggest difference you both experienced when coming from the Bundesliga to the WSL? Oh, that's a good one. We'll give you a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, off the pitch for me, I think being here and being in Britain is like way more relaxing. I think Germany is mm. like way more serious than what we are, type, mm. like, yeah. types of people, off the pitch anyway. I think even on the pitch though, like even we obviously play, uh, played for Bayern Munich and I think at that moment we were the best team in Germany, but we would play 5 for one 
just defend like 85 minutes, counter for the last five and then score a goal. But obviously coming here, like the way of football is so different. Mm. And even how the teams in the league are playing, like they all try to play football, which in Germany like wasn't yeah. the case. So that was for me obviously like the biggest reason as well to actually move. I think at the time, I think Germany was like a top, top league, probably the best, but I think England's there or thereabouts now, I think yeah. probably, I would regard it as probably the best league now. For sure. Yeah. 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 The I most competitive. So. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, Hirai Bongs says, ask them who is the teammate they'd most be scared of. And wait, hold on. Can you Rewind. go back to the first bit? What, her <laughs> eye bongs? His, his or her name is Hirai Bongs. Okay. Oh, I thought you said her eyes bongs. And I was like, what? <laughs> Sorry. Hirai <laughs> Bongs. We like your username. Yeah, your funny, fancy. class. Ask them who's the teammate they'd be most scared to play against with oh. that emoji. What, an Arsenal team, obviously? Yeah, okay. I'm more scared to play against. <coughs> Who terrifies you? I wouldn't like to put up against Kim, to be honest. She yeah, would, although she's she like little, but me. she's also like Strong. aggressive. Yeah, yeah. No, she's so much flip. Little, little. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, smart. Yeah, I totally thought about that. <laughs> yeah, I know you did, see? <laughs> I got you. Interesting choice, to be honest. She's oh, really? You were expecting her to say you, wasn't it? No, no, not at all. <laughs> Anyone would be happy to go up and training against me. <laughs> In training, yeah, maybe. <laughs> um, I'd probably say Vicky Snatterback, to be honest. I think she's probably the best 1v1 defender mm. I've played with in my career. So I think she's amazing. Jess Keating says, what are your favourite kits, whether it's a team you've played for or just one that's lush? I like the word lush. I love kits. What a good word. Oh, I'm like, <laughs> I, mean, I, I love, love the word. I love, love kits. I love kits. I love kits. Oh, the Arsenal kit, actually. I love the banana one. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah me too. The yellow one. I know. Yeah. Unbelievable. I, I think that's the best kit I've played in so far. So, so nice. To be honest. Every week, so I thought, let me just give it a rest. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, I, I love, love it. Though. It is yeah. a shock Classic. kit. Classic. Yeah. 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 as well. As well. It's good. Mm. This one's from Ad, who says, one player from any team, any time, that you would want to have by your side. Ooh. Ooh. By your side. In any, in like any scenario, you. not just... Not women's football. <laughs> Wait, what? If I'm, stuck, if I'm stuck on an island, I want oh, this person by my side. Job. Yeah, let's do that. Why not? <laughs> let's switch the question up. Because yeah. I'm sitting at home like, that is not why I yeah, asked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. I'm picking Emma Mitch all day, every day. In any, why? In any, in any scenario, you just need a bit of entertainment and she's your, she's your gal. Yeah. For sure. Fifth? I picked Jill, but she's a bit, like... What? I'm not sure she's going to be any help on the night. <laughs> <so> <laughs> she's going to be fun. Yeah. Like I'll pick Jill. Yeah, you need someone fun. And then I also think with this sort of question, mm -hmm. probably shouldn't put this out. I'm like, if you die, would I eat you? What the hell? No, because you know if you're on a desert oh, island, you don't have any food. She would eat me one million percent. Yeah, <laughs> you'd need, you need to think about that, you know? You need to think about these things. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to survive on the island is all I'm going to say. not. Right. <laughs> SF Gunner says... Specifically, from a player's point of view, who would, what would they like to see change in the way women's football is covered by the media and also marketed to the fans? Mm -hmm. These are written so small, that's why I'm like, yeah, that is quite that's a question. Journal question I know. Yeah. Very deep. Um, <laughs> Feels like, can we go back to the desert? <laughs> I know, desert exactly. Island? No, I think... That was one of the bigger things as well, like when we moved from Germany here, I think England has done really well in like bringing women's football up, if that makes sense. But I think the main focus needs to be right now on us selling out our stadium every single yes. week, instead of just yeah. against Chelsea or just against Tottenham. Like we, on the end play at home, we play, I mean, Brest obviously is a bit of a strange game to pick out, but yeah. surely if people come to that game, they want to come back again. So yeah. that's kind of the focus we we need to have a thing to just get people in every single week. Yeah, and that's what I we agree, want, yeah. because that's what you want as a player. Like when I go home and we play national team in front mm. of like 40,000 people every single time we play in Holland, that's what you want. Yeah. So that's what I want here for Arsenal as well. And that's what we yeah need to work to. Yeah, definitely. Do you guys agree then? Because I know Joe came out and said that until, yeah, it's like regularly sold out at your normal little stadium where you play, that going to Emirates Stadium isn't sort of what he'd want yet. Do you agree with that? Yes and no. I mean, obviously the experience we had playing at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium was out of this world. Yeah. It was so, so cool. And I think we got, like, what was it, 38,000? It was yeah. great. It was and do you know the atmosphere? Even for 62. fans, like, <laughs> just the whole atmosphere of that stadium is just like, the whole day for people to yeah. come. I know yeah. us as players, it was different, but I can imagine. Hearing the chance, yeah. the yeah. It was it was, it was, it was, it was unreal. I loved it. That day I took a minute to take it all in yeah. and honestly it was one of the best feelings ever seeing so many people there to genuinely support the women's game. Yeah. Like it really empowered me and made me think like 
this is what we need and want. Yeah. But then on the flip side, I guess the argument is that exactly. that's all well well and good, but so actually it needs to be... Yeah. I think it's so game. important to set up yeah. Miller Park because the mm-hmm. game against Chelsea, mm-hmm. seeing it like that fall to the brims, yeah. stands for people standing around, mm-hmm. If that was happening every week, then we could talk about playing yeah, the Yeah, no, true. Yeah. yeah, That's true. It's just getting the consistency. No, but yeah. it's even though for me, like, I think Arsenal's a massive club mm-hmm. and we're probably going to be the only team on the end of the season that have actually not played yeah, in the men's stadium. And I do think for us as a club, even if you have a big game in that stadium, let's say 40,000 people will come, then people in the stadium will realise, oh, we need to go to Meadow Park. Yeah. And yeah, that's, that's like, that's what we need to do. And we kind of need that game like i always say this like i keep saying this at the club to everyone i see i'm like oh i want to play in the emirates but it's just because i think it would be good advertisement Mm. for us right now we like to talk about things that are going on off of the pitch and a big topic again Mm -hmm. is acl injury so ada hegerberg has announced that she's obviously got that awful acl injury now um so we'll see her out for a while how big of an impact is that going to be at Lyon? I mean, she's one of their key players. Yeah. So it's going to be a massive impact, especially the running in the Champions League, or well, the league and the Champions League as well. Like they've won it four times on the bounce, and she's always been the key player. Well, not the key player, but you know, the talisman getting the goals. But they've got other players in and around them. Mm. It's just unfortunate for her. It's such a pivotal time of her career, and it's just devastating that it happens so often throughout women's football. Mm. I mean, it's it's mad, isn't it? Like I was saying to you guys earlier that. Um, I don't know if you've seen the article, and if you haven't, it's it's really great. But Claire Rafferty and Susie Rack from The Guardian, uh, they went and basically checked out this facility where they're, they're trying to do more research and learn more about ACL injuries and why women are so much more susceptible to them. Because, I mean, we are. I think it's like more, we're like four to six times yeah. more likely to, to get, I say, I say we, yeah. like yeah. I'm yeah. one of the players yeah. as well. <laughs> you know, me, Viv and Lisa. Um, but... <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah, <laughs> God, touch wood. Um, but we are so much more susceptible to getting them. I mean, what, what more needs to be done in, in this field? I, I wish I had the answers, I don't know. But I spoke to a knee surgeon once for a podcast that I do with oh, yeah. James Stillman, and he said one of the main reasons is to do with like, the menstrual cycle. Mm. which was really quite strange but apparently that's the reason uh, that affects the balance of the knee. So about like hips and yeah, hips hips, knee ratio. Yeah. I don't understand it at all but that's one of the main reasons that it happens apparently. Yeah. It's so hard as well. I think it's so detrimental to the player mm. and the individual but I think it also adds such a stress for the people surrounding that individual whether that be teammates, um, back backroom staff, mm. family. I think it adds such a massive pressure and like shout out to Claire and Susie with what they're doing because I think yeah. it's so important and yeah. the the genuine passion to explore more is is needed. So if more people could get behind it and research it, it could potentially make such a development and change within the game, mm-hmm. men and women, to yeah. reduce the amount it happens. Yeah. That's what it is. I guess it will just be a case of time and yeah. more yeah. research into it. But yeah, it's um, a, a very big topic yeah, at the moment, isn't it? Um, now it was also Nick Cushing's last game at Manchester sure. City. He'll he'll be glad that he got the win. At least one of us here is. Which one's that? No. <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> um, but how big of an impact is that going to have on the WSL? I'm really interested you know, to see who comes in. Well, that's yeah, that's, what, that's, I that's, not, that's what I'm I so think, interested to see. I think it's a second in command. I can't remember his name, um, but he was basically giving all the instructions yeah. on Sunday and um, was in the players' ears. And when but don't you think someone will permanently? Not come not in. straight away. I don't think. If so, it would have been announced by now. Mm, mm, mm. I think he'll be interim um, because he was giving all the instructions. Mm. I mean, Tessa will have come on. He was telling them where to go and all that stuff. So I could be, be wrong. Interesting to yeah. see who takes over. Yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah. I mean, Man City is a massive club in f- women's football as well, and I think maybe they won't take someone in right now. I think they'll take their time and see if they can find the right person for mm-hmm. the job again. Because mm-hmm. obviously, Nick has been there for like six, six years, years think, yeah. and he's done great with them. Mm-hmm. And I think obviously finding a coach that's going to do the same as he's done for the club yeah. is going to yeah. be yeah. hard. Yeah. So big yeah. boots yeah. to fill, absolutely. Big boots, that's the one. What did you say? Big shoes to fill. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same thing. Big heels to fill. Um, Absolutely, and the Offside Rule podcast, I don't know if you've oh, all seen that it. Yesterday. Yeah, that is so sad. Yeah, so, so their uh, WSL edition, they've, yeah. they've had to stop it, at least for the foreseeable future, uh, because of a lack of sponsorship. So, 
money, yeah, um, yeah. which is completely fair enough. Need in the women's game. Well, exactly. Yeah. Um, and it's a massive shame and good luck to them. And obviously we hope that it, it gets back up and running as soon as possible. Um, but does that highlight, you know, the bigger issues here that obviously we've seen such big improvements in the past sort of year with the amount of funding, with the amount of shows. I mean, look at us sitting here doing this, you know, like there is a big improvement in the coverage and everything in the women's game yeah. but when something like that where there's there's not many podcasts like that at all yeah. around and to that level as well when they can't get sponsorship is that showing still a very big problem within the women's game yeah. obviously the big dogs are not putting their money into it they probably don't feel like it they probably feel like it's still too niche yeah they really probably because with businesses they want to put money in things they get money back out of so which is a shame because uh, you've got to support things like this. That's what mm. helps it grow. How how do we change that? How do you think going forward that companies and brands and and just people in general can be doing more? What more needs to be done? Mm. I think I would argue maybe not focusing on brands and companies. Me personally, like individuals persuading or encouraging friends to come with them and come and experience it because mm. it starts first hand like that and. In a way, that's kind of what you want. You want people who care about the game to pr bring people into the game and hopefully share that love. Because um, I know, like, when I go to matches, there's I know people who go to games as individuals and then they have like their little clan of yeah, friendships group. or families now that they've turned into. And you can go to a game as an individual and meet maybe like 10 other people who you go to with week in, week out. Do you think clubs can be doing more? In the in terms of marketing, stuff Without like that. Doubt, yeah. yeah, I think even just creating the, the whole fan experience mm -hmm. at Bournemouth, I think it's yeah. obviously quite hard to do that. But yeah. like you say, the people that do come for the first time, you want those people to come back, and yeah. for them to want to come back, we need to build a whole experience. And like you said, maybe the Bristol game, for example, like obviously we're scoring goals, we're doing our job on the pitch, but arguably, are the club doing or other clubs doing enough mm -hmm. around that to create that experience for mm -hmm. fans that they want to come back? Yeah. <laughs> Right, we want to test out how well you two know each other and what your actual thoughts are. A bit competitive. Love it. Yeah. So we have these really cringy pictures of you. <laughs> Great. This is my favourite. And oh, then you can really take them home they? after and frame them. <laughs> Maybe I will. I swear these pictures are always taken after training and we look like absolute crap. Oh, <laughs> just stop in. it. Okay, so I'll ask you a question and then you both hold up the picture. These are massive, by the way. I know, they're so big. <laughs> we won't be able to see your faces, but that's fine because we've got you in full form. Okay, who is the funniest? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay. oh yeah, that's fair enough. Me. That's quite nice, actually. I know my qualities. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, what are your qualities? Go on, Viv. Nah. Back yourself. <laughs> Not many, but Lisa's the funny one, definitely. You're funny too, but I am funnier. I'm I funnier. feel like you're Scottish, though, so you like get instant. So like... was she just about? I mean, I'm <laughs> no. Do you know what? You, your accent is so has such a Scottish. Yeah. Yeah. It's the best thing I've ever heard. I heard an interview once She's for the first Scottish time. Like, it threw my head. Oh. I was like, it's she not said even blister though. the other day. I was like, blister. I was like, <laughs> nah. like, it's because I'm a Mitchell, so I can't really help it. To be honest. Have a strong accent. Who is the messiest? Oh, <laughs> oh no! Do you leave stuff everywhere? She's always shouting at me because I leave shoes everywhere. So yeah, I'd say me. Yep, definitely. That is quite annoying. Right, which of you would make the better manager? <laughs> oh, do you know what? This is cute that you're in agreement. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm not an do you know what I knew you were cheating because you can watch football with analysing games just out there. Yeah, watch exactly. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Zoned in. Yeah. Yeah. We can't watch a football game without Viv like breaking it down, formation. Really? Patterns, like, Very like, annoying, just, to be just honest. Just enjoy the game, please. I know. Like, <laughs> do you both do that or is that just more fit? I mean, you're like that as well, but I think Lisa would just be like, I'm coming back to the funny bit, like she would be the happy assistant, just like joking yeah. with everyone, yeah. yeah. like more in that way. And or I'd have to be the like... Out, you know, like... Yeah. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> Okay, who is the best cook? Lisa. Okay. Yeah. 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 Viv's really good at cutting vegetables. I know that sounds so patronising, but you actually That's are. That's my only job. No, like, she's like, do this, this, this. Cutting them. No, genuinely, she makes like the best like sweet potato fries. They're all like even symmetrical, like yeah, even. Honestly, I'm not being patronising. You, you can say that thanks, yourself. Though, thanks. There's a compliment in there. If you, need someone, to, if you need someone to cut your chips, fish oh, out. Yeah. Right, who is the worst singer? Easy one, <laughs> very easy. Are you tone deaf, Viv? 
Is that one of the skills you don't possess? I mean, I am actually quite deaf, so I'm quite happy when... No, she is. No, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> she's a I'm pretty sure. But she loves entertaining people, so like, when I walk into the bus, then I can just hear Lisa singing already. And I just know if I do that, everyone will leave the bus. So <laughs> I, yeah. Wait, what song? Like, Arsenal songs or just Oh, anything. Rogue? Any songs. I like, I'm quite theatrical, I'd say. I like yeah. a bit of theatre. Oh, me too! Yeah. Yeah. Like showmen or like yeah. Frozen. Oh, yeah. Frozen. Throw that in there. Let, Let it go. go. I've never oh. seen that film, you know. What? Frozen? Yeah. That is blasphemous. <gasps> Whoa, what am I? <laughs> Should I go? <laughs> that's, re that's really strange. Who takes the longest to get ready? <laughs> that was it easy. It literally takes two minutes. You get back <laughs> and forth and that's all. Yep. Brush my teeth and that's it. <laughs> I'm glad you brush it. I'm glad that you put that out there. <laughs> Thank you for Just to clarify. Time. Yep. I'm guessing you shower as well. Sometimes. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Sometimes. Yep. Do you guys have any little teammate questions you want to ask? Throw in there. Ooh. Controversial. <laughs> best like, dressed. No, I know everything about them. Uh, best dressed. Ooh. What, between me and Beth? Yeah. She's like, that's oh. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> no. That was so strange. Yeah, I was gonna say, I can, I can I'd, see. I'd actually say you because no, I wouldn't you're even. just like, if we go shopping, like Emma Mitchell come for fast and like Emma and Lisa are just like, oh, this would look good on you. And I'm like, okay, I'll try it on. And then they don't really give I me a choice, so I need to buy it. And <laughs> I'm just end everything, up wearing it. Like, everything wearing I have it. looks better on Viv. Like, I actually do think that because you're, Viv's like tall and like mm. skinny, and I'm like, that looks so good on you. Like, why does it not look good on me? Like me and Mitch are just two little potatoes and you're just like <laughs> two little potatoes. Yeah. You are not a potato. <laughs> exactly. Repeat every morning. I am not a potato. <laughs> Alright, Nancy. So for anyone who might not know, can you tell us a bit about She's a Baller and what you guys do? So it's a platform that was created to shine a light on the women's game. It's, I do it because I love the women's game. That's what I'm about. That's what I've always loved and been into. And it's a way that no matter your ability, where mm. you're from, what you're doing as a young female there's a space where you can show what you love and showcase yourself and be put on our page to sort of be like look this is what young females are doing this is what you can aspire to like i get messages from young girls like showcasing themselves doing like really cool stuff and they put on the page and it's like at the moment we've got like 18,000 followers which is great in a year um but imagine being a 12 year old girl doing something like scoring top bins or and 18,000 people we're going out to and how special that makes you feel yeah. and it makes you want to that could be me one day like if I put up a clip of like Viv or Lisa doing mm -hmm. something like they can aspire to think oh I'm already on this platform and that's me just as someone who loves the game yeah. I can do that I can be like Viv I can be like Lisa I can be like XYZ who I want to be like and mm -hmm. it's just making them feel special and also supporting what you lot do and supporting my passion and my love to say this is what we deserve this is how you can really show people that the game's amazing and it deserves it deserves a recognition amazing i mean and it's probably really cool for you guys to see something like that definitely yeah all these initiatives i know i do stuff for the weekly strong campaign mm -hmm. yeah. um and it's just i think it just makes women's football accessible and like you said mm -hmm. gives the platform to for young kids to aspire to yeah. um be like us we're obviously in a privileged position so Mm. It's good to just kind of show people, yeah. to give them an insight to what we do and how enjoyable it can be. So Absolutely. And Pippa, you have a new show with AFTV. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Can you tell us about it? Um, so for anyone that doesn't know, which I'm, the AFTV is a platform for Arsenal fans that give their reviews on Arsenal games. I mean, I feel like most people yeah, probably know. Yeah, you know, there's, there's yeah, that little thing. Uh, everyone, it's like Marma, either you, either you <laughs> love it or hate it. It's Obviously, it's always been predominantly focused on the men's team. And I thought, why not? Like Arsenal's a club with men's, women's, under yeah, 20 yeah. whatnot. I said, why not focus on the women's team because they're doing so great and there's not a platform that shines a light on the mm. Arsenal women. So I said it would be a great initiative to have that and get we have journalists on and uh, players and hopefully you two one day. <laughs> <laughs> Some great other guests. Yeah, <laughs> Nancy on there. Um, to talk about the women's game in general. So we obviously we focus on Arsenal, but let me cover the whole WSL and the season. Um, it's a great show. Am I right in thinking you're doing videos with your son as well? Oh yeah, that's on my channel. So we have, I have this thing called the football family. So I've got two younger sons. The eldest one, obviously, is obsessed oh, with football. So I met him on the yeah, street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that was on his eighth birthday. Oh, yeah. And I recently took him to some women's games, and now he's obsessed. He's like, where's Arsenal in the league now? Where's Bristol? Oh. Where's this? I was like, oh, OK, oh. this is cool. Um, but yeah, we react. We do like a little quabble box, and we sit down on the sofa, and we react to um, Premier League games. Uh, it's really quite fun, because it gets him into the... Because he plays football. Yeah, yeah. And it just, it's really good for him to like analyse and 
do other stuff in football instead of just playing because you know not everyone ends up playing professionally so it's good for him right we are gonna put your knowledge to the test with a little women's football quiz oh yeah no pressure you yeah. look terrified <laughs> <laughs> absolutely terrified right can i have the ball please thank you oh, nice skills <laughs> um right i'm gonna put this in the middle right. uh, just about ish yeah <laughs> that works i'm gonna ask you a question whoever gets the ball first can answer it okay right. so you've got to be really quick with your reflexes I'm so competitive. It Who's an well, injured? I know the answer. I, know the answer. I think I do. Viv, I'm sure I'll I take do. my time. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> that was Good tactic. Good tactic. Right. Question one. What strange circumstances were Reading awarded a penalty? Oh! Oh! I knew. Do you know what we've spoken about this? So this is why I kept getting told <laughs> off about. My hands are fully on them. I mean, I'm Nancy. You gave up, so I'm giving this Pippa. A very strange decision for a handball, Kate Sullivan. Yeah. What, what's oh, I mean, yeah, okay, cool. Head on, mistake. Oh, head on. But I'll give you that because it's that same thing. That was um, bizarre. Yeah, it's just weird. absolutely atrocious, really. You're what I meant to say, it wasn't a handball. It's probably, yeah. <laughs> header, it's a header, mm. very clear header. Mm. Anyway, question two. Yeah, well, hold on, because <laughs> you're so saying that. I'm giving her an advice. I'm looking you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> give me some telepathic waves here. Name any three. Of the Chelsea goal scorers from the winning oh, against Oh, wow, okay, Nancy. Gee, you two are like, do you know what I'm done? I'm going to yeah. let these two high. I know, but we knew it was going to be. It's going to yeah. be like 8 0 result, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, any three of the Emily goal scorers? Emily Murphy. Yeah, Erin Cuthbert. Yeah. And Beth England. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Shout okay. out to Emily Wait, Murphy. 1 1 then. Come on, guys. 1 1. <laughs> Up your game. I want this competitiveness to come out of you. Right, question three. As it's an Arsenal centric show, woo! If I get this wrong, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> no, no, if these two get it oh, wrong, yeah, should we let these two right. answer it? No. Arsenal <laughs> hold the record for the most women's FA Cup trophies. How many do they have in total? Do you know what, Viv? I'm not angry, I'm disappointed. <laughs> do you want to take a guess? I'll give you a lot of the opportunity only, to take I've a guess. I've only been here for well. three years okay. and I'm only guess. 20 years old. All right, so guess. And you're Dutch. Yeah. Okay, do you want to guess? See, yeah, I finished the question first. But if you know the answer, you no, buzz in. Well, at least I just had 12, but I think it's less. What? Arsenal men? No, women. I was going to say. Okay, Nancy? 14. Yes! No, no, no. 14! You guys are well good. Yeah, good. Right, question four. India's first professional player, Bala Devi, has just moved to which club? Jesus Christ! I saw this, I put this up. This is quality, uh, Miss Rangers. It is indeed. Well done. Yeah. Damn yeah. girl! Yeah, yeah, yeah Rangers. It's really, yeah. I put it up on the She's a Baller page and I was, yeah. Yeah, they went professional now. So it's cool. Yeah, it's cool. How many international goals has Christine Sinclair scored? I don't know. I feel like you know this, don't you? you? Must know this. I done the pe I done a post again, so I sort of need to know this. Do you know what, Nancy? Stop, Stop your posting. Stop. I mean, I know she took over at every Wembeck with probably, uh, what is 185? What? Yeah! yeah. yeah but what, what? did she not score an extra one after that? 185. Well? Oh. 185 written down. Uh, Viv, so 185 goals. You are on 69 international goals. You must be eyeing up that record, surely. Nah. Surely. <laughs> what? Not really. I mean, she's almost got 300 caps as well. I'm, I'm not sure, obviously, how long I'm still going to play, but if it's ever going to be there, then I'll keep playing for it. But, I mean, what she's done is unbelievable, yeah. I think. And, I mean, I've got a lot of respect for her as a player. So, yeah, who knows in the future, but it's not really something I'm focused on. So do you not look at certain records and think, I'm going to beat that? With no. That no. <laughs> <laughs> with that exact hand movement. No, nah, not really. Like, obviously, I had the goal scoring record in Holland, which was one of the things that I would like to beat. And I mean, I've kind of done that already. So yeah, and, um, we'll just see. Casual. We'll just see whatever happens. And I'm not really someone that's gonna look like, oh, I need to break this record or that one. So that's not really me as a player. So yeah. we'll just see. And that is the end of the quiz. Well done. Uh, there were some great moments, some some not so <laughs> greatly. So I'm looking at you, uh, Nancy. Congratulations. Woo, you win nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a prize. But you know what? This You're the winner. Right. <laughs> and that is all that Four. matters. Um, guys, that is it. It's been lovely. It's been a joy. It's like, cool, see ya. <laughs> Bye. Um, yeah, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thanks, it's guys. nice to have some Arsenal girls here as well. Woo woo. Um, before we go, where can people at home follow you on social media? Viv, do you know your social media off by heart? I love that you look at I think it's just my name. 
right? Well, what? You know me, of course, it's at Vivian Miedema. There you go, <laughs> thank you, Pepper. What's my name? At Lisa Evans, 17. Is it? I that is it. so creepy, but I love it. <laughs> I literally tagged them in yes, front of content, so... Yeah, know. that is... Do you not know your own, Lisa? I might have got it. I, I, I think no, it is 17, but there might be an underscore. I think that's an underscore in there. Potentially. Summer. I mean, I'm sure we'll write them somewhere down here. Pippa? Pippa underscore Monique. Yeah, that's it. Nance Baker underscore. Cool. Is that on Instagram, sir? Okay. All right, just check in. And where can people follow She's a Baller quickly? You can follow She's a Baller at, on Instagram. At She's, at she's, she's a Baller. A baller. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, okay, thank you so much. That is it from us. Remember, you can get in touch. Tweet us at Copper90. You can join the Facebook group, Football is Football, and subscribe to the YouTube channel, Copper90 Football. And I don't have any tea, but um, that's the tea. <laughs> 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 <laughs>